So welcome back, guys. Found another uh, yesterday, another um, recruiter who would like to come and speak with us, uh, Sophie. So I'm just going to go ahead and go right straight into it. So go ahead and let us know, you know, where you're coming from and what school you're representing and what your name is. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Sophie, and I'm the representative from International Bilingual School at Central Taiwan Science Park. So I'm from Taiwan. Oh, wow. Uh, how, how far was the travel to get here? Uh, around like 14, 14 to 15 hours. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what type of weather is over there at the moment? You know? um, actually, like temperature, of course, in New York is colder in terms of the temperature. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, but the feelings mm -hmm. are mm, like the same oh wow well, yeah, not that cold as we expected oh okay um so uh tell us a little bit more about your school like uh, one thing i've been asking you, you yeah. said feeling that's something i've been asking everyone oh. uh today in regards to their school is like what feeling does people get as soon as they get into your school ah uh, i would say um they that the first the first feeling that the feedbacks that i receive mm -hmm. most from my parents parents and all students that the school seems to be a classic and very beautiful mm -hmm. one yeah because it's very new and it's a very warm color okay yes oh I can see that yeah. uh what would make it yeah so well the infrastructure as well like what what else um uh, you know what's in place inside of the school mm -hmm. that makes it uh outside the colors that makes it warm is, uh, is it also the teachers and how you guys uh, mm -hmm. operate um oh then, then I will like introduce my school for a little bit. So because we are one of the very few international public schools in okay. Taiwan and mm -hmm. we mainly serve for the employees in Science Park. Okay. Yeah. So we're kind of like the little oasis mm -hmm. in the like the science park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with all like the built technology buildings and the factories and um, like all of a sudden there's a little school. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, so uh the, the main colors of our school is uh like brown and also orange mm -hmm. and a little bit yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the representative colors of IBSC is uh actually uh red. Okay. Yes, okay. and unicorn is our representative. Okay, yes. oh, wow, okay. Yes. Yes. Speaking of unicorn, like tell us about the diversity of the school, you know, of either the teachers, um, the students or the parents. Ah, yes. So uh, this is also an interesting one is that we, uh, IBC is a relatively small department mm -hmm. in uh, in the school called National Experimental High School. So uh, IBC has a, like little departments. We only have 123 students from grade one to 12. Yeah, because uh, the, the criteria to enroll into our school is a little bit different from most of other schools. Mm -hmm. So we, we serve only employees, uh, children. And also, uh, but only 123, but we have 17 different nationalities. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's like a little United Nations. Yeah, oh, nice. You said employees, children. What type of employees, children are we talking about? Uh, science Park's employees. Oh, so what yeah. is Science Park then? Maybe yeah. that's what I should. What is Science Park? Oh, Science Park is uh, like Taiwan's uh, probably some of, some of you know, like uh, TSMC. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, or this is very related, like high technology uh, corporations and also very big company. Mm -hmm. And usually these employees are either the lo uh, 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 local Taiwanese mm -hmm. or uh, foreign uh, employees. They came to Taiwan and work for like two to three years okay. and then they will fly back to their original country so and because uh yeah so we need to um offer like education program for uh children to continue their studies right, right. Yes. okay interesting um and what uh so how do you incorporate those parents uh in, in the community uh because that taiwan is uh it's kind of like a small place and also like Tai yeah and Taichung city is uh we look at it in Taichung it's kind of like a middle city it's in Taiwan and uh, uh the weather food and also everything is actually good and warm mm -hmm. yeah and so usually the parents do when they first come to Taiwan that uh when we're interviewing our students is that also like feeling is also one of our questions so when you first come to Taiwan with Syria like uh the first feeling you know it's like, yeah. oh, Everything seems like so relaxing, ah, yeah. comfortable. Tranquil. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. They're very peaceful. Exactly. Yes, yeah. And the food is uh, cheap and mm -hmm. good. Okay. And for those that you do hire, like, is there a, is there room for growth 
for them? What type of professional development, you know, environment does your school provide? For, uh, for our faculty. For the faculty, yeah, yes. Yes. Uh, oh, yes, and we have, uh, a month at 123 students, we actually only have like 24 teachers in total, including like factory teachers and also local Taiwanese. Okay. Yeah, so uh, as for the local Taiwanese teachers, basically that the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for expatriate teachers, we do have many like different kind of like benefits. Mm -hmm. For example, like uh, when we said the professional developments that will be, we will give uh, teachers uh, uh, around like 50,000 per year to do their part of professional development. Oh. Yeah, so anything that related to teaching or to the career buildings that will encourage you to do so. So we do have teachers that even though that's uh, teaching in English, but he also would like to have like yoga lessons right. as yeah. well. So you yeah. can cover yeah. yoga into, oh, wow. yeah, into public speaking course, yeah, which is very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Relaxing thing to do, because, yeah. especially if you're a teacher huh? or yeah. you're heading up to school. Yeah, and also there are another things that's also interesting is that uh, because there's a public schools that uh, our government that will offer us like a free counseling service. So every teacher is that uh, every year they will have like uh, six, at least six times mm -hmm. free counseling service. You guys do big in SEL, social emotional learning. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's good. That's good. Um, so my next question, you know, I guess getting away from the feelings, and all. Uh -huh. you know, it looks like it's a very relaxed school. I just wanted to ask, like, you know, how well you guys are technical, logic, uh, technology school. Yes. So, to begin with, so this next question is probably, mm -hmm. I, I guess, I want to hear the most <laughs> interesting thing that's been going on with AI so far at the school. Because uh -huh. other people have been asking, Are you doing it? I don't, I don't need to ask, Are you doing it? I would like to know what exactly the most interesting thing you've seen so far. Um, I think that other than AI says uh, our school currently they fo we focus on programming and also with robotic uh, mm -hmm. building. So mm -hmm. we have a very strong uh, FRC, the first robotic competition team. That's called number, I think it's 7636. We do have like a number for that. And our students actually came to uh, Long Island to uh, to have like international competition mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's also a long way for them to or like a team to carry all all kinds of like material and components, yes, yeah, equipments and yeah, but they were having fun. Yeah. So other like FRC and also um our students they also have their own after school program about the robot programming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also because it's a uh some some people will say that if it's like a government funded school, then we have limited budgets. But we're a little special because uh we are not established by the Ministry of Education, but Ministry of Technology. In Taiwan, that means that we, we are offered with a, a lot of experience, uh, not opportunities, and also um, like uh, more budgets to do the things to develop the program that mm -hmm. we like. So like in our school, we have a kind of like a room on the rooftop for the telescope observator to watch stars. So students can actually lie on the grounds and or use the telescope to watch stars. Yeah, why this? You guys are hiring. <laughs> 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 yeah. So yeah, we are hiring like science teacher this year, by the way. Oh, okay, okay. So is that where you why you guys are here looking for a particular science teacher? Uh yes. Uh yeah. Um, so if the science teacher, if there's a candidate right now, you know, that's looking or even watching, you know, what advice do you have for them? Um, you know, for the interview tomorrow? Um, well, that this year we are recruiting biology teacher. And if uh, there's a candidate coming right up, then I will say uh, like the tip is just, uh, we will really want to hear about your experience in uh, how to cope with different culture students. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, is there any special strategies or tip for you to communicate with parents? Yes, I mm -hmm. guess that's what we want to know. So, yeah. well, that's big. That's big. So, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. And what is exactly the website that listeners can find you if they wanted to know more information about tuition or the mission um, of the school? Oh, uh, our school is IBSC mm -hmm. and it's like the TW. Then it will be our website. Okay. Very short. IBSC.TW. And okay. you can see us. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to share with the listeners before we kind of uh, end our uh, interview here? Oh, uh, there's a, the last, 
Uh, last thing is that, that as we mentioned about the unicorn, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I realized uh, exactly. yeah, not not many schools that use unicorn. Exactly. Too. Yeah. So what I want to add up is because uh, uh, IBS is a very new program. It's only our fifth year. Mm -hmm. Yes, of establishment. So uh, our, uh, during our first year, our students did a little arts uh, activity. They chose, they drew and chose unicorn to represent them by themselves. So it's not the school cho chose for students, but student led this. Do you, do you guys do that a lot? A lot of student led programs yeah. and activities. Can you say another another one? Uh, let me see. Oh, oh, that's another one. Is that during the pandemic? Uh, we uh, we also had like a distance learning, but uh, something interesting about our student is they love to come to school. Yeah, they love to come to school even during like the closure. So and because during a, 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 our government policies that unless you have like a legitimate purpose, uh, otherwise student can come to school. So in order to find out their legitimate purpose, <laughs> um, they offers to to have a school video to make a school video. Mm -hmm. for IBSC mm -hmm. and also they uh, they came up with one ideas to actually communicate with the uh, teachers more and come to school is that they created because every day that our governments will have like the uh, footprints um, with uh, if you have like confirmed case yeah. and the government will publish uh, like the footprints on the website but it's all in Chinese so they translate our student translated all those footprints and also uh, they listen to the government news every afternoon mm -hmm. and they translate it and make their uh, pictures with wow. icons wow. and also translate in English, publish on the websites and to let our expatriate teachers to uh, also uh, know about what happens in, in Taiwan right yeah. now. Yeah. Most of the students are bilingual? Uh, no, they are actually from like different countries. Some yeah. of them are, of course, some of them are Taiwanese, but we also have like Koreans, Japanese, mm -hmm. and students from like Philippines and yeah, are they yeah. um, so there's some, uh, some of our students they have language difficulties in English. Yeah, but they also don't know how to speak Mandarin. So uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But they know how to read it or they just don't know how to speak it. Sometimes. Um yeah, they, they didn't know how to read it. Okay. But um, speaking yeah, but in order to survive in our school, they will need to learn English fast. Oh, uh, yes. okay, I see. Here's one more thing before you know we end this off. Um, is there any events or activities that stand out to you um, in your school? Um, I think uh, like uh, other than that, that regular events such as like from like like mm -hmm. festival celebrations, uh, our because we have our own student council. So, so like every year our student council will come up with some new ideas, like sometimes bake sales, sometimes uh, flea markets, sometimes uh, uh, you know, like other, a lot of kind of events. Mm -hmm. So I think the most, uh, the most special one is they would like to design their own graduation ceremony this year. Oh, wow. Nice. Yes. Then we're going to see how it goes because uh, the graduation just not only for grade 12 they're going to convene this a grade 6 grade 9 grade 12 like together ceremony so we have elementary middles and high schools wow, okay. like, have it together oh yeah you have space for that uh <laughs> yes i think we have a space for six nine twelve graduates to sit all together okay okay, yeah. okay. all right <laughs> Well, um, thank you so much uh, for sitting here today. Uh, listeners, uh, thank you for listening in. 